Yo, what's going on, my autistic people? Hope everyone's having a fantastic time. <laughs> <laughs> that probably wasn't the best way to start this video. In all seriousness, I hope all of you, my amigos and amigas, have a fantastic day. I know times are tough right now. I know some of you are struggling with school or this and that, but I am just here to tell you that I'm here with you guys. And we're going to get through this, all right, my amigos and amigas? Until then, until then, I have to talk about this that I've been wanting to talk about for a few weeks now. And I've been keeping my eyes on a few people, on a few pages. I think it's time I finally talk about people who are pretending to have autism, who are legitimately self-diagnosing in order to to get views in order to get sympathy points please guys feel bad for me look at my quirky haircut so now before i keep going i hate pointing this out but i have to say it because people exist and idiots exist yes i know people who are autistic they watch the videos as a matter of fact if you're watching shout out to you you know who you are and it just blows my mind that people get on my dick saying oh sensitive you say the r word uh, it's too offensive you can't say that anymore you can't it's gone too far and these are people who don't suffer from this condition so i'm like if someone who suffers from that condition and on top of that says the word himself and then on top of that he watches the videos and likes them and it's cool with me saying it why are people who are not autistic beefing with me i just had to say that with that said let's just get into this video let's talk about autism and self-diagnosis because it's still a massively misunderstood subject and i am sick of it I'm what sick i of think you. most people don't understand is the definition of self-diagnosis when it comes to autism because the main argument that people use against self-diagnosis is that they think that people wake up one day and just label themselves autistic. I want to mention something. This woman, this girl, looks incredibly obnoxious and super annoying. And why is she trying so hard to sound tough? Like, she's from the hood, she's from the streets, you know what I'm saying? I'm tough. Now, with that haircut, you're not. Am I an expert in autism? You might think I am because I'm so retarded, but no, not at all. But here's something that I do know, right? And self-diagnosing is one of the worst things you can do. I believe... I suffer from ADHD, right? I have my suspicions, my sus. I've looked at the list to see if, you know, if I fit in that category and stuff. But I do not go around making fucking TikToks telling everyone, look at me, look at me, I'm so quirky. I, I have OCD and I have ADHD and I have this, this and that. When I haven't been diagnosed by a professional, not Google. Because we've all had those moments where we've coughed, our stomach hurts, maybe our throat is a little itchy or, or it hurts. And we Google it, my throat hurts. Google tells you, you might have cancer and you will die in the next 24 hours. I wouldn't trust the internet with that information. You guys have no idea how many times my throat has hurt. And I Google it and it tells me you might have throat cancer. You might have AIDS. Play with me here. You might have this, this, and that. You have two days to live. It just blows my mind that people push for this narrative of self-diagnosing. Do you really have nothing to do? Go game a little bit. Go watch a movie. Build a puzzle. Listen to music. Binge watch all 450 of my videos. The fact that you put your face on this and you believe this is so stupid. If you can and you feel like you're suffering from something, I would encourage you very much to look at a professional. Do not listen to people like her or Google. Google told me I had throat cancer. By definition, that is not self-diagnosis of autism. We need to view self-diagnosis by definition as doing extensive research, looking into getting a formal diagnosis as and where possible. Someone who has extensively assessed their own brain. Nobody really wakes up one day and just decides that they're autistic. Please show me proof that that's happened. Your hair, your hair is more than enough proof to tell me <laughs> that you think you're different. You're not like most girls. I see you. Trust me. When people say I am very different, all I hear is, yeah, I try to be like everyone else and, and I've never had an original thought in my life. You cannot do this. This is no bueno. And I hate when people self-diagnose themselves with OCD just because, oh my God, I like to have all my albums perfectly stacked. And if you actually look at people with OCD and you're just like, oh, I have OCD because I need to keep everything in order. Maybe that's a slight variation of it. But when you actually see people with OCD, look it up on YouTube, right? You will see how crippling it is. People People can't leave their houses because they're scared. Oh my God, I forgot to turn the stove off. They come back, it's off. They were right. Then they go outside and then they think about it again. And then they come back time and time and time and time and time again until it drives them crazy and they just stay home. And if it did in a rare chance, that person has no impact on what it means to actually be self-diagnosed. Because again, that's not self-diagnosis by definition. Now I understand why British people get so much hate. This person looks like the typical Twitter user. And am I being mean? Um, yeah, but at the same time, this girl is telling everyone to be self-diagnosed. So who's really the bad person here? It can be expensive, biased, misogynistic, racist, 
I beg of you to be more open-minded on this. Uh, no, no, I will never take anyone who self-diagnoses seriously. And I just really like to keep things real here, you know? I like to be honest, and does that piss some people off? Maybe, maybe they don't like me or they think I'm mean, too harsh, but I'd rather have an honest person in my life than a fake piece of shit. And as a matter of fact, this TikToker went viral for once again, self-diagnosing. It starts with, the other day I was bored, so I did a little experiment. See, this is how it all starts. People being bored, I'm feeling quirky. Let me self diagnose right it's out of 200 points and he scored an 11 i scored a 179 you know how sometimes there's like a meme about like the gay test take this test to see if you're gay yeah bro this test is really going to tell me if i'm gay for sure yeah so if you're taking these assessments and you're constantly scoring very close to what is considered autistic like the higher you score the more retarded you are you're probably just autistic Forty thousand likes this is your validation your confirmation you can identify as autistic you cannot identify yourself yourself as autistic i am lost for words you're literally like everyone else who wants to be sick for no reason whatsoever please get alive and i know that's rich coming from someone who uploads pretty much every single day but at least i'm doing something you're out here working for free and making tiktoks encouraging thousands of people to self-diagnose a single quiz online cannot determine if you're autistic i'm gonna head out now i, I gotta sleep peace out <laughs>